welcome back for part nine of the Marcadini Crochet Along. This week we will be working on top of our week five with blocks 33, 34, 35, and 36. So for block 33, I'm going to let you just can follow the chart as is. There's no new stitches in that, so you'll be able to work that fine without my help. But just to get started, you'll want to work count from the border edge and you want to count, you won't count the edge, but we'll count these loops across to the 30th loop and mark that, and then to the 34th loop and mark that. So block 33, you will join in back, pick up 30 loops across, plus your border loop to pick up, so you'll have 32 loops on your hook. Then later on, you will come back to this marker for the vertical line, but I'll tell you when that, when we need to use that marker. So you can go ahead and join and follow your chart for block 33 and I'll see you at the end of that. So at the end of block 33 you'll want to make sure to do a bind off row and then work a horizontal line and bind off that line as well. For block 34, you're going to want to count over 13 loops from the far edge and mark that. You will join behind and pick up your 13 loops to work the block. You'll also want to mark the 17th stitch over to know where to start your vertical line. And then block 35, you will just join behind at the border edge, pick up your 13 loops, make your connection to work block 35. So you'll want to bind off both of the blocks, but not the vertical line. So, so far we will have worked block 33 and made the horizontal line on top. Then we worked block 34, bind off, vertical line, no bind off, block 35, bind off. Then what you need to do is start on the bottom corner here down by block 33, count over four loops, join in the back, reaching over the bind off row, you're picking up those four loops and making all the connections up the side for a vertical line up beside block 33 and block 35. Don't bind off, pick up 13 loops across block 35, four loops on the vertical line, 13 loops on block 34 plus the border stitch. You'll have 36 loops across for this horizontal line. You'll work two more rows and a bind off row. And then we're ready to start block 36, the last block for this week. So on this vertical line that we finished, we want to count over four loops and put a marker in the fifth loop. We will join in the back and then begin picking up loops across You'll want to pick up a total of 30 loops plus the border, so you'll have 32 loops on your hook to start block 36. Then you can just work off those loops, do the return pass for this first row, and then I'll help you with the first few rows of this block. So working row two, we will start with two purl stitches. We'll work a cable, have some knit stitches and working some two together stitches with purl in between and then reverse that with knit stitches, a cable and two purl. So we start with two purl stitches for row two of this block, one and two purl stitches and then we'll do two knit stitches and a purl stitch and we'll make our cables. So we'll take those three stitches off, the knit stitches fall to the front, put the purl stitch back on, cross the knit stitches and put them back on our hook, and then we'll work six knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six, two TSS, three purl, two TSS, 
get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll start our cable stitches. So we'll make a purl stitch first and two knit. Take those off. The knit stitches we'll put back on. The purl fell to the back and cross the purl back onto the hook and ending with two purl and pick up our border stitch. Okay, so now on the return pass we need to be careful where we work those two together stitches. So we'll take off the two purl, the three stitches of the cable, then the seven knit. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll take off two together, so we'll pull through three loops, chain one. Then the three purl, and then we'll chain one and pull through three loops for the next two together stitch. Then we'll take off the six knit, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we've reached our cable, so we'll take those stitches off. and the two purl and the border stitch and that completes row two. So now working row three, we will start with three purl stitches. One, two, and three. That's that crossed purl stitch, which is a bit hidden. And then we'll work another cable. So we have two knit stitches, one, and two, and a purl stitch. Take those off to work the cable, or if you wish, you can work them in the return pass. Five knit, one, two, three, four, and five, and we'll have reached our two together stitch so we want to go under both loops to pick up our loop and then pick up in that chain one space. Three purl, one, two, three. And then we have that space to pick up a loop and our hook under both of the loops of the two together to pick up our next loop and six knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Our cables, so we start with the purl and two knit. Work the cable. and three purl to finish out the row. That first one was the crossed purl from the cable, so it could be slightly hidden. Two and three purl. Pick up the border stitch. So working the return pass for row three, we need to watch for those two together stitches again. So we take off those three purl stitches, and then we'll take off our cable stitches. and the six knit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we've reached the two together, so we want to make a chain one first. Take off the two stitches for the two together. We'll take off the purl stitches. Then we work the two together and a chain one, and then take off the rest of our row. So most of this chart will follow the similar pattern. 
we'll be keeping those two together stitches in the middle column for several rows always remembering that it's worked on the return pass and then the next row where we um, work under those both loops of the two together and a chain or pick up a loop in the chain and they flip flip sides which way we have the chain so just be careful to watch the chart carefully for that and then when we get to the center sections the cables are in the middle part with the two together stitches on either side and then we reverse that again to finish off the square then I'll work row four with you as well to show you one more time picking up those stitches at the two together so we'll start with four purl stitches one two three and four that fourth one is the crossed one from the cable so be careful to find that right one then we'll work two knit and a purl and work the cable and it'll be four knit stitches one two three and four then we've reached the two together, so we want to pick up a loop in that chain one space, insert our hook under both loops of the two together to pull up our next loop. Three purl, one, two, and three. Pick up both loops of the two together stitch and pick up a loop in the chain one space. Five knit, one, two, three, four, and five. We'll work a purl and two knit. And that's our cable stitches. And then four purl, the first one is the crossed purl from the cable of last round. One, two, three, and four. And the border stitch. Then we'll work the return pass and watching carefully for our two together stitches, which way the chain goes on this row. So this is row four, return pass. So we'll take off those four purl stitches, three and four. Then our cable stitches, and the five knit. One, two, three, four, five. Then we've reached the two together. So we'll do two together first and a chain one this time and take off the three purl. So the two together always alternates each row. If you did a chain one, two together, the next row will be two together, chain one in the same spot. So we'll do our chain one and two together here, and then we can take off the rest of the row. So I'd just like to do row 10 and 11 with you here where the cables and the two together stitches switch. So the cables will be in the center now and the two together on the ends. So starting with row 10, we'll make a purl stitch in our first stitch. Then we'll pick up these next two knit stitches, but we'll work them as TSS. and then seven knit stitches. One, and that was the cross stitch of the cable. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
then we'll work a purl, pick up a loop in that chain space, and the two together stitch, pick up that loop, and then we can work at the cable. Those last three stitches, the purl falls to the back, put the other two on the hook, cross the purl, And then we have those three center purl stitches. One, two, and three. Then we'll work the two together stitch, pick up a loop, and in the chain space, and a purl stitch. We'll work the cable, take those three off, the purl stitch crosses and goes back on our loop and put the other two back on the hook. Then seven knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven knit stitches. Eight knit stitches, my mistake. We'll TSS those last two knit stitches, finish with the purl stitch and our border stitch. Okay, so we'll take off the border and the purl stitch, and then we'll work the two together, chain one. Then we'll take off those eight knit, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take off those cable stitches and the three purl stitches in the center. Take off the next cable stitch and the seven knit. One, two, three, four, five six and seven chain one work the two together take the purl off and the border stitch so then row 11 we'll start with the purl stitch we'll pick up a loop in the two together stitch and in that chain one space then we'll work six knit stitches one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. And then a purl stitch and two knit. And we'll take those three loops off to work our cable cross that purl behind. Then we want to work five purl stitches. The first one is that crossed purl from last row cable. One, two, three, four, and five purl stitches. And that last one was in the crossed purl from the previous cable. Then we'll work a cable, so two knit, and a purl stitch. We'll work that cable, so the knit fall to the front, put the purl back on, cross the knit, and then seven knit. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we'll pick up a loop in that chain one space and the two together stitch. Finish the row with a purl and a border stitch. Then return pass, we'll take off the border stitch and the purl stitch. Then we want to chain one and work two together. We'll take off those seven knit, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven, take off the cable stitches, and the five purl. One, two, three, four, five, and then we've reached the next cable, so we'll take those three loops off, and the six knit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we'll work the two together, chain one, and take off the purl and the border stitch. So I'll let you continue through the remaining rows to finish off this block, being careful to watch for when those cables and two together stitches switch back to the two together being on the outside. So you can go ahead and work all 27 rows, plus do the bind off row, and I'll meet you back here then. So when you've finished this final block, you'll want to make sure to do the bind off row across the top, and then we will join to the far edge and picking up in front of the bind off stitches, we'll pick up the four loops across and make our connection rows to finish off with this vertical line up the side of the last block. And you'll want to bind off. We will not do a horizontal line across the top as we will be adding a border to this later.